Good evening. Well, Sydney's experiencing a clear but cold night for this return interstate match. But uh, because of that, the crowd here at Leichhardt Oval is probably less than half that which turned up at Lang Park a, a, park a fortnight ago. In fact, not only is the atmosphere different, but so too are the teams. New South Wales have made eight changes and Queensland six. In the New South Wales team, Gary Dowling replaces Brett Mill at fullback. Chris Anderson, Noel Cleal and Steve Rogers come in for Bostead, Cronin and Johnston on the three-quarter line. And Phil Sigsworth has been preferred at 5'8", the head of Laurie. In the forwards, there are three changes with Les Boyd, Royce Aliff and Ron Hilditch in and O'Reilly, Young and Harvey out. Missing from the Queensland side are Stacey, Carr, Niebling and Rowcliffe. And in the reshuffle, Gene Miles moves into the centres, Mal Meninga to the wing and Mark Murray is the new 5'8", with Wally Lewis going to lock. Greg Dowling comes into the second row and Marshall Colwell to prop. Despite the changes, Queensland will be out to reverse their 10-2 loss in the first encounter in Brisbane, but uh, their performance this year was a vast improvement on what they did last year, notwithstanding their victory in the State of Origin match. Well, in Brisbane, the referee was the Sydney sider Greg Hartley. Tonight at Leichhardt Oval, the referee is the ever-popular Queenslander Eddie Ward. And the two captains coming to the centre of the ground. Steve Rogers, number four, captaining New South Wales. And here's Artie Beaton coming up for the toss. And the breeze that we spoke about uh, is fairly well non-existent. It's a pretty still night, very clear. But little breeze to uh, assist either side. And it looks like New South Wales are going to be running from left to right. And with us, uh, former Australian captain and centre, Reg Gasny. And Reg, just how much do you think that the changes both sides have been forced to make is going to affect their play? Well, it's going to be naturally very interesting. Um, we, we know of the New South Wales players. They've, uh, you know, they've deserved their selection uh, due, to, due to injuries to, to key players. But on the Queensland side, well, it's, it's going to be a matter of uh, let's wait and see. The obvious tactics are going to be defence as far as the Queensland is concerned. And so New South Wales kick off with Queensland winning the toss and the kick goes over Scott's head. He's touched it into the in-goal area. Meninga's back there. And Court got away from McCabe's tackle but was caught by Les Boyd. McCabe. So pretty strong defence straight away there. I think both sides, both teams will be pretty well keyed up in this uh, early part of this game. And they're playing for uh, pretty important stakes, the green and gold jump for uh, Australia. If they can uh, get selection in a good game tonight by any one of the players, could uh, well get them into the Australian side. So Queensland putting in the little kick, looking for the touchline, it won't find it. That's John Rebo on the far side, one of a couple of uh, former Queenslanders in this New South Wales team tonight. Hilditch. First penalty of the match goes to New South Wales. Hilditch coming up swinging with his opposite number. Marshall Colwell uh, didn't uh, take a backward step when uh, Hilditch started swinging at him and very quickly both sides stepped in. But Eddie Ward uh, had blown the whistle to a water penalty to New South Wales and here it is again. And you'll notice that uh, this is Hilditch running into the defence. He knocked Colwell back but Colwell had taken him by the jersey and when they get up they start swinging. Colwell pulling him to the ground and Hilditch resenting the tackle. The penalty had already gone there. So the first scoring opportunity of the match is for New South Wales and Steve Rogers is going to take the shot at goal. New South Wales have had a couple of recognised goal kickers in the past uh, couple of seasons who might well have been preferred to Rogers and obviously the top of the list there would be Mick Cronin who's not playing tonight but it's interesting uh, to point out and I'm sure that uh, the Queensland viewers would like to know that Steve Rogers is currently the leading point scorer in the Sydney competition. So New South Wales may well be without McCronin, but Rogers is in fine form. Yes, he's, uh, he's in great form. He doesn't miss too many. But it's pretty obvious that there's some feeling out there in the game with that uh, little bit of altercation there between uh, Colwell and, and Hilditch. I think we can expect to see a bit more of it in this game. Rogers about 32 metres out. Long and low and straight. First points of the match go to New South Wales. Two and a half minutes of the first half. 2-0 the score. 
I expected with the Queensland uh, side, they'd be basing no doubt Arthur Beetson would be we're telling them to move up and uh, to cover their opponents in the uh, the Blues, make sure they tackle and put them in on the ground. So here's the restart of play taken by Lewis and the kick is a long one over Price's head and that's fullback Gary Dowling, caught by Phelan and Beetson. Back to Masterman, Aleph. Oh, where the Queenslanders got up very quickly in defence. Yes, they certainly did. That's down to the New South Wales quarter line. It's one thing is a must that uh, the referee Eddie Ward must insist on that five metres because otherwise the game could get very, uh, very ticklish indeed. A lot of feeling out there and they've got to keep both teams apart. The kick put down filled by Steve Mortimer. Back to Colin Scott. Tackler was Ray Price. He doesn't miss many like that. Back up. Cricket, line side is Lewis. The grabber kick rebounded off a New South Wales player, so Gary Downing across near his own quarter line, running around Cricket, and Lewis takes him. Scott up there, fullback to fullback. And that's 10 metres from the halfway line to Anderson, Price. Masterman, Mortimer. A little kick through for the 5-8 and 6 where it's falling with a cross with Rogers. The bounce has gone to Noel Quill, but he's dropped it forward. Queensland in possession now on their own quarter line. To Meninga. Les Boyd uh, finally meeting with the tackle. He's missed a couple after he's come rushing through. Penalty against New South Wales. And that's against uh, the dummy half and the marker. Not standing square onto the opponent. So, uh, first penalty to Queensland. Wally Lewis, who's been a very valuable player for Queensland over the years. He's been in great form, especially in that first interstate match. Yes, he played well, and uh, the way he was running from the rucks, he got quite a, quite a good rap. Also, uh, Wally Lewis is probably not uh, too happy for me to play lock forward after his excellent game in, in Brisbane, and playing at 5-8. Yeah, I just wonder how that uh, selection change uh, might uh, affect his, well, future representative prospects. That's Lewis getting a beautiful pass away, and on the second row, Dowling running upfield, and a lovely tackle by Steve Mortimer, putting him into touch. Greg Dowling of Wynnum Manley, great run, taking that pass off Lewis. It's about 32 metres out from the New South Wales line, Queensland attacking. Up back Henrik will play it to Lewis. Beaton. Got Murray going outside him. That was Sigsworth who went low and Les Boyd high. Penalty against Boyd right in front of his posts. So it's tit for tat so far in this game with uh, each side having had an early penalty almost in front. Rogers was successful with his. Here's Mal Meninga. Let's see how he can do. Ridge, we were a little bit surprised in New South Wales to find uh, Meninga moved away from the centre. We uh, have seen for the last two or three seasons the power of Close and Meninga as a centre combination. What do you think uh, the reason for the switch might be? Well, um, we do know that uh, they, they work very well together, but uh, also that it, there's not a great deal of speed off the mark in the side, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if they brought uh, the Miles into the position for a little bit more zip. He's a tall, strong, running fellow, and uh, I think this would be this would be it. I was talking to Mel Meninga earlier, and he's, uh, he doesn't know much about the wing position. He's only played five eight in the centre. Well, he's worth a place in the side in any position, isn't he? With his goal kicking. That's true. So it's about 30 metres out, practically straight in front. No breeze at all. And the scores are level to all after about seven minutes of the first half to all and Mal Meninga having no trouble whatsoever with that kick. Fairly long kick off to Scott over near his own uh, goal line. Back to the quarter line now. Caught by Aleph. 
cricket. Using their blind side world coins now. To Dowling. Beatson. Making a good break. He had Dowling outside along with the other front rower in uh, Colwell. He's lost the, ball. lost the ball though. Masterman. Now Mortimer. Price. Cricket and Phelan putting him down to Masterman. Ailiff. Hilditch left it behind. Queensland's ball. It's halfback Henrik. Dowling. Now Arthur Beetson marshalling his forces. He's on the open side. And that's Cricket. Beatson. Henrik's kick, a left foot one for the line. Won't find it. Gary Dowling. In fact, it might well get there. That's a great kick. Gary Dowling completely beaten by the kick. He was actually turning to run infield when the ball uh, just accelerated more or less off, off the bounce over the touchline. A very good kick indeed. So what a great chance for Queensland now. Ten metres out. Penalty against New South Wales. It's against the scrum feet of Steve Mortimer. The scrum taking a little bit of time and breaking up too. Well, if it hadn't been for the feet, it could well have been for the scrum collapsing because Jeff Masterman was flat on his back when that broke up. Yes, it was an instant penalty there. Now, this gives Queensland the opportunity to, uh, to get the first try on the board. See, kicking backwards there to uh, the full maximum uh, 10 yards. He was kicking backwards. Colwell, and what a blinder of a tackle that was. Ron Hilditch. Cricket, Henrik, looking for Beetson. Gap starting to appear on their blind side for New South Wales. To Phelan. Now let's watch Beetson, dummy half. Henrik, Murray, little chip over by the 5-8, five, five and it's too long. It bounced out over the dead ball line on the full, so New South Wales will bring it back for the tap restart on their own 22. Yes, it's probably speculating. I uh, uh, wouldn't have kicked in that position there. Had outside uh, support. I think he did, would have done a lot better to hang onto the ball. But still, Queensland uh, have got New South Wales pinned down on the, the quarter line. It's interesting to note they're moving up on both sides of the ruck. They're moving up very fast out wide. And New South Wales. And here's a chance. Out. Back has got it on the left flank. Backer trying to get around Mortimer and caught in the cover there with Ailiff coming across too. A New South Wales error and Queensland back into attack again. Down the blind side is Prickett. Now Backer. Lewis a long pass to Beetson. That one really cleared some distance. Another long one. Close has dropped it. And that's clear in the centres for New South Wales. 20 metres from halfway. To Sigsworth. Cade. He's a strong running second rower. To Masterman. Ailiff. Cleal. Straight up the middle, he's gone. The big fellow's away. Cleal gets out of Scott's tackle. Beautifully run down from behind. Lovely tackle there from, uh, from Miles. Mortimer. Switch in players to the blind side of Hooker Masterman. Two all the score. Mortimer, Sigsworth, Rogers. Now there's one tackle to go for New South Wales. Mortimer is positioning himself on the open side. Boyd unloaded to Sigsworth and uh, the ball lost. So that's a knock on to each side for a scrum to go down about 30 metres out right in front of the Queensland goalposts. I noticed in that uh, the New South Wales backline in that uh, open play was standing very deep indeed. But uh, as we as I speak now, a direct straight line, and there's uh, there's a penalty to New South Wales. As you can't do, Rogers can uh, kick the goal there. So 10 metres from the goal line. Only uh, a minute or so ago, we saw Queensland uh, pressing 
close to the line. New South Wales have got their first chance. Rogers stepping through. He's got support in Hilditch. That's about six metres out. Mortimer to dummy half. Sigsworth outside. Sigsworth. Now to Masterman. And he wasn't watching. Masterman had taken his eyes off the ball. The ball was played too quickly for him. Queensland run it out. Fullback Scott. I don't think you see that very often, and I'm sure that he wouldn't be very happy with his performance there, Jeff Masterman. Looking to the right, and the ball went to the left, and Queensland were able to get possession. Now an overlap's out here for Queensland, but they've lost the ball, and Masterman has uh, regained. So his mistake earlier has been undone. McCabe. Now we'll have to watch Les Boyd running out here shortly. That's Price. Les Boyd is standing a long way back behind the, the centres. And there are a weight of numbers for New South Wales on that side. Here's Rogers and Boyd. Boyd on the burst. Still got it away and that's a try. Gary Dowling bringing it infield. Well, that was on uh, for minutes, really. From our vantage point high in the stand, we could see Boyd and Dowling lined in behind the rucks. And here they come. Yes, I think that's more of a kangaroo try, that one. I'm sure Rogers and... Uh... The Boyd have tried that before, but uh, New South Wales first try. Dowling almost going dead in goal, but scores the try. Now, there those two players are standing out behind the ruck, and it goes inside to Boyd. And watch his beautiful flip pass just to get it around the defender. And Gary Dowling, although very nearly going over the line, is able to bring it back a few more metres. Well, that's something Queensland didn't want. 5 2. New South Wales in that position were able to call the shots. The Queenslanders really had, uh, because the ball was played in centre field, had to uh, field their defence on either side of the goalposts. But New South Wales were able to call the shots. As I said, they could nominate which side they were going to take the play, and they built up their numbers on that side. So the Queensland defence was there, but there was just too many, uh, too many attackers. Not to mention some uh, very good football. My word. Can he do it again? Just putting it away to the left as he looked at the post. So it's 5-2 in favour of uh, New South Wales. Fifteen minutes gone in the first half. Or just almost up to fifteen minutes. Well, Queensland uh, showed in Brisbane after conceding the first try they were able to contain New South Wales for most of the game after that. Here's Gary Dowling. Caught by Prickett. Mortimer. Boyd left it behind. Mortimer doubled around. He's offside yes, right in front. It was a good decision there by uh, referee Ward. It uh, quite so. In front of the uh, player when he dropped the ball. Here it is, and you'll notice that when Boyd drops the ball, Mortimer was actually in front of him when he picked up, so quite a correct decision right in front. And this is going to be another two points, I'd suspect, for Queensland. Just the way Mel Meninga kicked that last one, he uh, very deliberate, and he takes a couple of steps back, but uh, he follows through. There's plenty of weight there, and he's a very accurate kicker. So the kick being taken right from the centre of the quarter line and straight over the middle of the crossbar. Well, within a minute of New, of New South Wales scoring their first try, they made that mistake to give Queensland another two points. It's 5-4. Rogers aiming uh, the kick off down towards fullback Scott. He's just about judged the perfection. Stood there. And here's the kick up filled by Meninga. It's a high one rather than a long one. Not a good bounce for, for uh, Gary Dowling. Right out to Anderson. Canterbury performance. Combination there. 
notice Mortimer starting to throw these long passes, but again the depth of the New South Wales back line. It's good to see they can run under the ball and it gives them that room to move. Good defence by Queensland. Uh, they're going to need to keep moving up. Well, that type of defence has caused another error with the ball being dropped by Hilditch. Eight, eight minutes, eight metres inside Queensland's half. Scrum feed's going to be by uh, Ross Henry. Scrum penalty to New South Wales. One of the advantages for Queensland in the fact that Wally Lewis is playing valleys is that they're uh, able to use their northern suburbs um, scrum combination of halfback Henrik and uh, Mark Murray at 5'8". Well, those two might have good combination, but Henrik's found a little bit of trouble in striking up a bit of uh, combination with his hooker. <coughs> 20 metres out now. Hilditch. To Masterman, Ailiff, Mortimer. Getting away from Lewis, but there was a second line back there with the prop forward Marshall Cowell standing back to take him. Now Ailiff, Sigsworth, New South Wales very deep. The ball stolen, and it's Henrik to play it. But it's gone forward. Henrik's apparently knocked on. had to go to Queensland that time. You could see Marston's feet. His feet were almost in Queensland's second row. Wally Lewis. Just short of halfway. Cricket. New South Wales march back. They hadn't gone back to 10, so it's another penalty. And here's Boyd having a go. There's Boyd being set upon and the referee having a bit of trouble in breaking this up. Ailiff's in there. Two sets of forwards, Ailiff and Greg Dowling. Referee Eddie Ward blowing his whistle, but it's uh, to no avail, really. Now, Les Boyd was in that from the start, and uh, I think some action's got to be taken. There's really no call for it, too. No, none whatsoever. It's going to warrant at least 10 minutes of the sin bin. You'll notice that uh, as the players are being marched, uh, Colwell and uh, Boyd started uh, going in, and from then on it was on. And you watch it. Uh, as these two players are coming back on side, just out of the right of the picture, Les Boyd became involved in that scuffle. We couldn't see anything from that particular angle. And the referee is going to award a penalty to Queensland. Nothing under the circumstances. He's been fairly lenient. I would definitely say so, yes. I would have given him 10 minutes, uh, Boyd, 10 minutes in the sin bin. So he's beaten from a long way back. Still got his pass away. Cole was dropped it. Oh, that's got to be a knock on the both sides. There's a bit of feeling out there at the moment. There's a, they're a bit edgy on both sides. And, uh, There's an injury to Paul McCabe. He was uh, one player who... Uh, Ray Price, Price who down, tried yes. to dive on the ball. And then was injured in doing so. So 5-4 the score. We've got uh, a try and a goal to New South Wales. The try scored by Gary Downing. Steve Rogers has commanded one goal from two attempts. Queensland, Mal Meninga has been right on target. Two out of two. 5-4 and that's about uh, 22 minutes into the first half. The New South Wales and Australian trainer Alf Richards showing a bit of concern about the uh, state of Price's shoulder. The reserve forward for New South Wales is uh, Rod Morris who's a specialist prop. Price is okay. So the scrum just out from the New South Wales quarter line and it's screwed right around. He'll have to straighten it up. That's to Queensland. 
Mortimer for another incorrect stump, a scrum feed. Lewis finding touch about 18 metres out. Now Prickett, Colwell, caught immediately by Hilditch. Boyd in there too. It's Prickett. Tobacco. That's Scott. Downing. Long one to Murray through the halfback. He's got close outside, close trying to run around Rogers. Rogers grabbing the ball. Lewis beats him. Hilditch coming, steaming through then to put him to ground. Not an easy man to get on the deck either, but he did well there, Hilditch. The last tackle to go, and the kick's going to. No, Lewis didn't. Now's the time for it. Well, that's going to put pressure on Gary Downing. And he's led it for someone else. It's Queensland's ball, and the tackle start count starts again. Second rower Dowling about 18 metres out. Phelan. This is a good position for Queensland, 10 metres out. Cricket. Henrik. Lewis. Miles. Right in front of the New South Wales posts. And that's a penalty against New South Wales, right up inside the uh, ten meet, uh, five metres, right in front of their own goalposts. Steve Rogers just listening to the decision, and it's going to be another easy two-pointer for Mal Meninga. It was an interesting one there. Colwell had the ball there and was steaming for the New South Wales line. It's very interesting if play was allowed to continue. Eddie Ward's earned uh, a much-respected... Uh, reputation here in Sydney uh, Sydney rugby league fans regard him as a, a referee very very highly and uh, just over a week ago he went to New Zealand to referee the first test match between France and New Zealand at Carlow Park the second test next weekend is going to be refereed by Greg Hartley of Sydney but uh, from all reports the Kiwis and the Frenchmen were very satisfied with Ward's refereeing in Auckland Queensland the lead if he can put this over for the first time in the match. Oh, and he's just a, an a absolute shocker. Sh <laughs> a shocker. He wouldn't be happy with that one. He's he Rebo. The other two so well. He took Plank. that a little too casual, that one, Meninga. Price. to Masterman, playing it forward. Masterman, Mortimer, McCabe. Lovely tackle by Dowling and Prickett. To Masterman, Aleph, Boyd. Nice tackle by Murray. So five tackles gone, New South Wales did, or could have kicked. Here's Rogers. Another good tackle from Henrik. Scrum collapsed completely. I don't think there's any way out there. Mortimer's got it. Sigsworth. And that penalty is against centre Gene Miles. He didn't get off his man quickly enough. It was Phelan who was penalised. So this should take New South Wales back into Queensland's half. They're leading by 5-4, luckily so. How Meninga missed that last shot at goal, I do not know. Boyd. To Masterman. Mortimer. Aleph. Tackle by Lewis. Aleph. 
and Masterman, I should say, Ayla to dummy half. Now Mortimer and Hilditch. Almost down to the Queensland quarter line, Masterman dummy half. Mortimer, switch in play on the burst was Gary Dowling down the blind side. One tackle to go to Anderson. Mortimer's trying to bomb this time, it's a high one. Scott flying high above the pack. Queensland's ball. Brad Backer there to play it. It's 5-8 Murray. Beatson streaming upfield. A good break by the big fellow. Pass went to ground. And Arthur Beatson was hurt in that tackle. He's got a very nasty cut under the eye. And here's a penalty to New South Wales. Now I noticed uh, after that earlier altercation, Royce Aylip had blood coming from his mouth and now Arthur Beats has got a very nasty cut. It looks to be high on the cheekbone underneath his right eye. And uh, when we get a chance within camera range, we'll give you a shot of that. Aylip. So both Aylip and Beatson with those injuries. Hilditch. Mortimer. Rogers the decoy. Here's Cleal. They did very well to stop him there. Close and Murray putting him down. McCabe. Mortimer. So to McCabe, Mortimer, Sigsworth, a long one to Boyd. Five tackles gone. Will we see another kick or will New South Wales try another planned move? Mortimer, it's the kick. Lewis waiting for it right under the posts. Could be anybody's ball in the in-goal area. New South Wales claiming a try, but the referee was right on the spot and he said it had been well taken instead by Lewis. It's a courageous play by the Queensland lock forward. in the action of plenty. Back to Gary Dowling. Not to be confused with Greg Dowling and Winner Manley, Queensland second hour. To Masterman, Mortimer, McCabe. Trailed through by Price and so too was Rogers. Took it beautifully. Pass and travelled forward. You'll see this was a marginal decision, but the referee was right in line with it, you'll notice. And that pass had floated forward, even though Rogers had to stretch backwards to take it. So Queensland with it. 5-8 Murray. Queensland are under pressure. They're finding it hard to get out of their own, uh, own half. Do well, I think, to put the, uh, put the boot to the ball, as we're seeing exactly now. But it's uh, not going to... Is it? No, going right doesn't down doesn't to the in-goal area it. anyway. And Gary Dowling's been pursued downfield by Backer. He won't get away from Backer if he tries to run across field. But at least it gets Queensland out of their territory. Now, if they did the job right, Queensland, to move up and keep New South Wales down in their own quarter line. This is, now's the time to be able to hammer New South Wales because very hard to run that ball out from your own line. Ailiff. Hilditch, a lovely tackle though from Cricket. Masterman. Penalty against Queensland this time. They are up inside the five metres in the play of the ball. So about nine minutes remaining in this half. Five for the score in favour of New South Wales and Steve Rogers looking for touch somewhere around about the halfway mark. I think New South Wales have... Uh getting their game together. It must remember they had a run this morning and that's about the only time they've, uh, they've got together with this lineup. But uh, as the game progresses, they're, they're starting to get uh, a little bit of combination running onto the ball. Mortimer, I've noticed, is throwing his wide passes and forever looking. 
and I expect that uh, they will appreciate this half to uh, getting to know you a bit and I expect that New South Wales will finish on very strong in the second half. Queensland on the other hand they've stuck to their task they made uh, mistakes early they also tried to throw the ball about the use of the blind side has been been very sound uh, the likes of uh, in the second row uh, Dowling and also Phelan been using it well. Now here's Gary Dowling the fullback going into the clear got support and six were tackled one to go right in front 15 metres out good break by the fullback Mortimer Rogers Rogers and that's the end of six the penalty though Chris Close being called, called out. So, uh, Close penalised. I think the uh, decision there was for obstruction, holding onto a New South Wales player without the ball. Penalty's gone to Steve Rogers here. We'll see the incident again. We'll watch for Close wide out in the, the top there. Now, there he is. He had actually tackled McKay without the ball, got him around the neck. The penalty went to New South Wales. And another good decision there by referee Eddie Ward and New South Wales, as I said, they're putting their act together. They've got uh, the Queensland having problems with Steve Rogers. He's uh, very sharp, moving the ball and uh, stepping around and uh, uh, he's got plenty of speed. And the Queensland centres cannot afford to give him any room to move whatsoever. Chris Close and uh, Gene Miles. So about 15 metres out, Rogers kicking it away to the right, it hits the upright and goes through. Well, when you compare the last two kicks we've seen, that one by Rogers and the previous one by Meninga, you've got to realise that at times there is a fair ele element of luck in some of the kicks. And Arthur Beetson with uh, blood on his face and uh, Royce Ailer the same, so the two prop forwards uh, will know after this game they've had a game of football. There was a lot of feeling in that uh, in the first uh, early part of the game, the first 10 to 15 minutes, and right through there's some needle tactics. There's no love lost in those forwards, and a great tackle there by Beetson. Anderson playing it to Masterman. Hilditch, uh, Boyd at least. Still and that's tackle. even a better tackle. They're still tackling hard, Queensland. That's what they must do too, because if they can get in, they can jolt that ball away, they can force New South Wales into error. Lovely break made out wide. There's Price. He's got Anderson with him. Anderson won't get around backer into touch well in one respect I think Reg uh, despite the fact that Mal Meninga is a big fellow and he's obviously the man to mark John Rebo that uh, New South Wales could well have uh, Rebo's pace against Backer I'd say yes we haven't seen much of him at all have we Sigsworth Rogers lovely pair of hands and he's created difficulty every time the balls come near him that's Noel Cleal Mortimer, here's McCabe, jarring tackle, beats and hit the ground, McCabe caught, throw into the ground, another strong tackle that time from uh, Dowling, and McCabe now Boyd, tough. McCabe doesn't mind the, the tough stuff, neither does Boyd, Mortimer, <laughs> 12 metres out, Hilditch, Sigsworth, Dumming to Rogers, had to go back the other way. Gary Dowling. That's uh, five gone. Dowling, 12 metres out, right in front. Rogers, a shot at field goal, and that was uh, almost as high as Meninga's shot for, for a penalty goal. Yes, it wasn't much good that one. But that one down to experience. I think it went to the wrong man. I think Mortimer was expecting the pass. So the tap restart for Queensland. Colwell. He's had a strong game too, Colwell. The uh, second row of Phelan. So saying about them using the blind side, they've been going again. They've been having a couple of settlers to the blind side. No one marking in front. I guess this is where Arthur Beetson normally gets involved in the in the play and you know, it's been cut off. And that looks a good good kick, a great kick there. Finding touch on the New South Wales uh, quarter line and that's about the third time in this match in which Henrik has driven New South Wales back. 
And so Queensland have got a, an attacking opportunity in the last three minutes of the first half. New South Wales scrum feed will be by Steve Mortimer. Well, there's three points the difference they can uh, do with this ball. New South Wales leading 7-4. Steve Mortimer hasn't had a scrum feed to, to his satisfaction, hardly. The scrums uh, are only two all, but Eddie Ward's uh, found reason for a penalty to either side uh, on a lot more occasions. Nine, seven the penalties to Queensland. So only four completed scrums. Queensland on the burst now. Cole Wool about, uh, what, eight metres out. The cricket. Scott, the fullback. Cricket. Now to Murray. And a lovely pass here to Dowling. Murray. Lewis. Dummying outside. Floats it out to his winger and Backer couldn't take it. What bad luck. Queensland creating the opportunity and the idea was very good, but the pass was just that little bit too far in front of Backer. Queensland, Steve Mortimer, and the captain's being called over. Steve Rogers being called over. Mortimer's very angry with the decision, as you can no doubt read from the expression on his face. But uh, I know what this warning's about. Steve Rogers is going to be told if there's another case of bad feeding by Mortimer, he's going into the sin bin for a while. Well, Rogers doesn't say anything. He knows what it. Uh, he knows what uh, his halfback's doing, I suppose. Well, time just about running out in this first half. We've only got a couple of minutes, but now's the time. A great tackle. And Colwell's dropped it. Good tackle by uh, Boyd and Hildich there. Josh nice Anderson. Colwell very slow to get up from that tackle. That was a, that was a ripper. Rogers. Now working it back to the line side. Not a good pass. Ayla falling on it. Didn't look like a knock on the meat. And that's the decision on another scrum. And Mortimer very careful with that scrum feed, and it's a Queensland ball. Scott on the blind side. Now Lewis going to try the high bomb, and Gary Dowling has got a long way to come out for that. New South Wales have got it. Rogers. So we're almost up to uh, the end of the first half. Only a matter of seconds remaining. Masterman got a jarring jolt there from Beetson. Price, Mortimer, Hilditch. And there it is, the end of the first half. New South Wales holding a lead of seven points to four. And for the second half, New South Wales have made a replacement with Rocky Laurie on the field. And it uh, would appear as though the man who is off is uh, Noel Quill. The kickoff going deep downfield for New South Wales, Sigsworth. Play to Masterman. And here's the kick downfield. Long one put downfield. Sigsworth was back there for that. Standing very deep, New South Wales. Only way running onto the ball. Mortimer inside Anderson. Now there's one to go. Laurie calling for the ball. Here he is. Beetson and Ailiff grabbing each other.
So here's a Queensland scrum feed about 26 metres away from their own goal line. Halfback Ross Henrik. The ball, New South Wales, so was the penalty. Rogers will take New South Wales a little bit closer for an attacking position. And uh, kick that probably just where he wanted it. It's only about 15 metres out from the line now. Mortimer, Hilditch. Aleph went one side and Masterman the other. Masterman struggling his way towards the line. He's only about three metres out. Gary Dowling, he's already scored one try and that's number two. The New South Wales pull back his second try of the match. You'd probably expect to see a forward there, but Gary Dowling quick to take advantage of it. It's not very often you see a full back from dummy half, but a, a good second try to Gary Dowling. And he realised there was a way through there, held by Colwell and Dowling. That's Greg Dowling, but was able to get over. So 10-4. I remember saying after New South Wales had scored the first try through uh, Gary Downing, they could, uh, Queensland could ill have afforded it at that time to have scored it, to have, to have conceded it. And the same thing here early in the second half, after about four and a half minutes. It's a handy time to score it. And uh, it was Gary Downing also in the 13th minute of the first half that went in for the, the first try. We've only had two tries scored here tonight, and Downing scored both of them. So Steve Rogers. Gives New South Wales a very handy lead now, 12 points to four. That's uh, only four and a half minutes into the second half. It could well be the turning point of the game too, because up until now it's been very tight indeed. And in fact, with a bit of luck, Queensland could have quite easily been leading at half time. There was a uh, shocking kick there by Meninga, could have given them a, a point lead. And a pass from Lewis to, uh, to Backer. Backer, yes, was, uh, was dropped. And it could have quite easily resulted in a try. But anyway, Queensland still in this game, eight points the difference. And Gary Dowling kicking downfield. We don't see him kick a great deal. He's not the longest kicker of the ball in the world. But it's coming back to him. He better be prepared on his own quarter line. Sigsworth. Dowling. Mortimer. Sigsworth. He's done pretty well to get that far. He's a neat little stepper, stepper uh, Phil Sigsworth, able to get his way through. And in great form too, Alan. Rogers, Laurie, infield to McCabe. McCabe was very wide there, outside both centres. Boyd. Mortimer. Good pass from Price to Rogers. Now one tackle to go. Mortimer signalling the kick downfield here. Throws it instead. So end of six with Paul McCabe caught in possession. That'll be a scrum about three metres inside Queensland's half. New South Wales ball. Colin Scott, Scott was uh, well, well upside. upside, wasn't he? Yes, he, he went up. The ball wasn't quite out of the scrum, but uh, Scott was well and truly upside. Laurie. Yeah, bad oh, intercept, that's a try. Here's yes. Mal Meninga, he's going to score under the posts. All the way. Bad pass thrown from the scrum base. It was a long one. Mal Meninga took a beautiful intercept. That's just what Queensland wanted. Yes, well, you can't understand this one here, and you can see it was on all the way. A wide pass there, and Meninga coming in off the wing. He's got too much start for New South Wales, and that was a try on all the way. And a very handy one for Queensland. From head on, you'll watch this long pass. Look at it, look, it's about 20 metres, and it went right into the lap of Mal Meninga. He said, thank you very much. John Rebo didn't even bother chasing. It's an amazing game, rugby league, and uh, there's Robert Lurry. He wouldn't be very happy with himself at all. Well, Reg, you, you're actually an amazing person. You predicted that as soon as Rocky Laurie came on, something would happen. It certainly it did. did. <laughs> <laughs> it did, but I don't think uh, Laurie would be too happy with it. That's unfortunate. That's just football. But uh, that pass, uh, the intercept was on all the time. Yeah. 
So 12-9 the score and Queensland right back in it now. Two tries to one to New South Wales. But uh, we've got plenty of time left, about 32 minutes. And uh, only three points the difference. And I suppose if you come back and ask yourself just what if uh, Mel Meninga had kicked that earlier goal, the very easy one that he missed. Here's Rogers. Down to Scott. And knocking on. He possibly made a mistake by putting his hands down at that. He should have just let it hit him on the knees, on the legs, and it would have been okay. But he attempted to pick it up at the same time, and so that's put New South Wales on the attack if they can win the scrum. Which they do. Laurie. Rogers. Queenslanders were going in every direction, but Rogers ran straight to them. To Mortimer. Price back. Mortimer very quickly through the hands and beautifully picked up out wide by Sixworth. 15 metres out. To McCabe. From dummy half, he was allowed to run by the defence and he got to within four metres of the line. From the dummy half now. Aleph. Rogers out wide. Aleph's there instead, caught by Beetson. Good defence from Queensland, moving up out wide there. Aleph had to go on his own. Masterman, Boyd on the blind side. He's got Rebo going with him. Still gets it back. Out to Rebo on the wing. Can't beat uh, the second rower, Dowling. And Gary Dowling's left it go, so it's a Queensland ball. And Beetson uh, was tackled heavily as he had the ball on the ground. But... Uh, You'll notice the pass is thrown back here and it's intercepted by Beetson. Beetson on the ground and over the top came Les Boyd. And this is the head-on shot. You watch Beetson takes the intercept. Boyd gets off the ground. He's tackled by Marsman. Watch Boyd here. Look. Well, we had a bit of fireworks in the first couple of minutes of the game, and uh, perhaps we haven't seen the end of them yet. 12-9. Queensland in their own quarter. Cricket. Dowling, Lewis. One tackle to go. Henrik dummy half. Beetson's out there. Henrik kicking for the line. He said that's not a bad looking kick. Rolling towards the touchline. It's going to find it. A great kick. Fabulous kick from Henrik. He does it well. And that's about the third time tonight that he's gained valuable ground with those kicks. And uh, Ross Henrik there putting Queensland right on the attack. And it's good football. Forcing New South Wales way back into their own territory, right on their quarter line. New South Wales winning plenty of scrum in the second half, and the long pass, only the class of Rogers got New South Wales out of trouble there, but not Rogers. <laughs> and there's a New South Wales player in helping him. Rogers, very strong. It's Mortimer. Downing. Very impressed with Stevie Mortimer's performance tonight. He's uh, a couple of wide passes that he's thrown have been uh, very effective. He's playing a different role, Mortimer. Ray Price. And that penalty against the Queensland defence. That's about eight metres from halfway. Rogers looking for as much distance as possible here, and he's about 30 metres away from the goal line with that kick. Now to Masterman, Mortimer, Hilditch. Almost down at the quarter line. Now there's Boyd, dummy half. Boyd straight downfield from dummy half. 15 metres out. Hilditch, Mortimer, Laurie. Pass Rogers out wide was Sigsworth. He's left it on the ground. Chris Close to Queensland to play it. Henrik dummy half. Lewis a long one. Knocked on by Colwell. 
Referee said it had gone backwards. And that's a lovely pass away towards second row of Phelan. New South Wales getting it back. Price. Got Rogers going with him. Runs into a good tackle of Lewis. Aleph. Boyd. Boyd straight down the middle. That was a good uh, good tackle too. Wally Lewis. Beautiful tackle. Stopping Boyd right in his tracks. Mortimer infield. That's Anderson from the blind wing. McCabe. Rogers. Nobody there. Nobody wanted it. Rogers had to go on his own. New South Wales all bunched up. No back line out wide. There's one tackle to go. Mortimer. Made to try the little kick over the top this time. Scott's back there. And that was dangerously dropped into the in goal. So Queensland forcing that error by having to kick the ball out over the dead ball line. So it's a drop out by Wally Lewis. Nice long kick too to full back Dowling. Runs the ball up hard till he comes to the defence. Got around Beatson's tackle, but not the next one. Just going straight across field, Dowling. He's enjoying himself tonight, Dowling. He's got a couple of tries and he's playing very sound in the open. Boyd. Nearly busting through and good understanding with Rogers there, but he went straight into the waiting arms of Beatson. Roy Saylor playing it. South Wales playing it up the centre. One to go. That's Mortimer. There was five tackles to go. This is the last one now. Laurie. A little one over the top. Looks like a Queensland ball near their own goal line. They'll have to run it out. Between Miles, eight metres from his goal line. Kick through by New South Wales. There's the start of the tackle count again. Second row with Greg Dowling. To Prickett. Beatson. Caught by Boyd and Aylett. It's a nice run by Phelan. Henrik. Coswell. A Colt. Colwood it was. Getting it away too, and Scott's left it behind. McCabe's diving on it, and it's Anderson knocking it forward. So 15 minutes gone into the second half, and New South Wales still holding this lead of only three points. It's 12-9. They've scored two tries to one. New South Wales continuing their domination of the scrubs and here's Steve Mortimer, he should score from there, he's very close, his momentum won't take him over. That was a lovely covering tackle from the far wing. Mortimer playing it back and Rogers wants to throw the pass quickly, Price got it out there to McCabe, McCabe's over. Well that came from that scrum win on the far side. Steve Mortimer looked like he was going to score himself with this run, but he has run down beautifully, coming across on the far side, and he was grounded in that great tackle by uh, Backer, and it was from this play the ball that uh, Rogers, seeing the defence move up, had to actually switch direction here, and he found McCabe out the other side. And there's Price getting the ball on the McCabe, and he had only a couple of players to beat to cross next to the posts. There's a good piece of work here by Mortimer. And uh, a backer coming across beautifully from that wing to ground him. And, of course, this gives New South Wales the opportunity. The, the Queensland defence have got to play it tight in case Rogers goes from dummy half, but he doesn't. Reverses the, the play to Price on a McCabe, and the defence is just too thin, and McCabe goes in for the try. And Rogers converts practically from straight in front, so that's a more comfortable lead for New South Wales. 17 points to nine after about 16 and a half minutes of the second half and here's a Queensland replacement coming up with Brian Niebling and he'll probably go into the second row and uh, maybe Chris Phelan it'll be he'll go off we'll wait and see well 
Well, there's going to be a rearrangement in the scrum because Marshall Colwell, the prop forward, has gone off. And uh, Brian Niebling's on. It's Anderson. He was probably the shock choice in this New South Wales side, although he's a, an experienced campaigner. But he certainly hasn't let anybody let let anybody down tonight with his performance, Chris Anderson. Uh, his positional play has been good. He's always there uh, if there's any break made. Mortimer. S support the man with the ball well. Laurie. The New South Wales getting into their act a lot better now. You notice Mortimer taking a very active part there. Going oh. for the touch line, but it's not going to get anywhere near it. It's fullback Scott. He hopped up on, on its way. Back Queensland up. very slow to get back in position and... Uh, I wonder in that first half the forwards did a tremendous amount of tackling. The average was around about 15 to 16 tackles each and they might have taken a bit of the steam out of them but they're still keeping at it. So they're not out of this game. 17-9 the score to New South Wales. Murray went right out past close to Miles. It's Phelan. Last tackle coming up. Close. Lewis throwing a long one out to Henrik and a shallow one to Beetson running with the back. has got up inside and Cricket still got away. That was marvellous handling by Queensland. That's great football. Fabulous football. My word. Beautiful passing. But what a shock to see Arthur Beetson running outside uh, the centres to take the pass. He certainly hasn't been disgraced Arthur tonight. He's, he's been very solid. He showed quite a great deal of pace in that, uh, that move. That is not the best scrum we've had tonight. So we've got about 21 minutes of play left. 17-9 uh, the score. Eight points the difference. On the blind side, fullback Dowling standing up. Scott was there to take him. Fifteen metres from half, halfway. Crickets hurt himself there in that uh, tackle on Anderson. It's Price. Reg in the second half. New South Wales have won the scrums five to none at yeah. the moment. But it doesn't give Queensland much of a chance, does it? So New South Wales, they haven't made too many errors. They've been holding the ball, and this is the secret of the game today. And that'll be a penalty for New South Wales. He was being restrained from behind by the 5'8", Mark Murray. Well, this is it. The uh, Queensland, they, they can't keep tackling like this. They've, they've got to get possession. And uh, with that scrum majority, the New South Wales were uh, able to dictate the terms. But there's Arthur. There's a good photograph of, uh, of him. He looks a bit rugged. He's had a very hard game by the look of it. Well, we've still got Gary Prickett down on the ground behind play. And uh, Queensland don't want him to uh, have to leave the field. He's back to his feet now. We'll keep our eye on play. It's Masterman. And Prickett actually coming back to join his teammates. Hilditch down to the Queensland quarter line. Now Mortimer, Sigsworth, to Price, Mortimer, Laurie, Queensland is moving up so wide and so quickly that uh, he has to uh, bring the ball back to the centre. Here's Mortimer's kick again, not such a good one, Rebo is following it through with, with Sigsworth. Given that a try, okay. it's McCabe who scored it. Sigsworth was the player up after it. It looked to me as though Sigsworth was going to catch it on the full, but watch McCabe. The kick was a cross field more, more than uh, straight up, and there's Sigsworth, and the ball knocked away from him. McCabe was behind him to take it. I don't think this kick actually went uh, where Stevie Mortimer wanted it to go, but very effective indeed. On the angle, you can see that the ball actually is propelled backwards, and McCabe there over for the try. 
Well, it seems that there's a mortgage on the try scoring opportunities here tonight. That's his second, too, is it? Uh, two to McCabe, yeah. two to Gary Dowling. Rogers kicked all the goals, and Mal Meninga's the only scorer for Queensland. <laughs> yeah. Twenty to nine as the kick by Rogers is slightly offline, so it remains at twenty to uh, nine, and it looks like Mal Meninga is being replaced, and uh, Barry Davidson, the uh, Toowoomba wing, is coming on in number fourteen. Not related to Blair Davidson, who uh, played for Queensland. The kickoff by Lewis is straight to full back Dowling. It's a new facet of Dowling's play, Reg. I yes, don't recall I... seeing him kick off him. Oh, good. oh, there's a knock on there. That's, That's just bad luck there by referee Col uh, by fullback Colin Scott. Referee right on the job there and uh, picks him up for that knock on. No, you're right there. Dowling is kicking and kicking with effect. Another New South Wales scrum win in the second half at 6 none, and there's Gary Dowling. Well, well, he's caught, yeah. <laughs> and it's Lewis getting uh, penalised. Well, only a replay would uh, tell the story of that. Gary Dowling, uh, I don't think he'd like to practice a left hook like that too often. Yeah. But uh, obviously he was being held here by Lewis. <laughs> Looks just a little it's tit one. for tat, but he Dowling was the one that got caught. Yes, yeah, so that that was on the uh, far side of the camera. I'm sure you would have seen just that, just little left touch. It wasn't really a hit at all that uh, Lewis hit uh, Dowling with, but it was enough to force him to retaliate, and the referee thought there was a reason for it. Say so 20 to nine, and here's the penalty, 15 metres inside Queensland's half. And that one is just over. Just sneaked inside the crossbar. 22 to 9. And Steve Rogers now has kicked five goals from seven attempts. And a change of... Uh, tactic here by Queensland they've invariably kicked off straight to the fullback and put this one out to the centres to Rogers it's Masterman well New South Wales with most of the ball in the second half have been able to dictate the terms Queensland have had to move up and, and keep defending they're still at it but uh, with the ball and with possession the New South Wales have been able to get into their, their uh, uh, attacking performance and this is just what they're doing now that is Boyd has been very prominent in running running the ball up very hard it's a hard man to bring down Laurie running out wide with a beautiful break Ray Price looking for his wing on the far side he's got Anderson out there he can't go much further throws a one, an overhanded pass Sigsworth well, I don't think Ray Price knew then himself what he was going to do next Mortimer Aleph Rogers McCabe on the burst well contained by the Queensland defence. It took three, but uh, they saw him coming. Just on Rebo there. We haven't seen a great deal of John tonight. We're not getting to his left wing. Uh, we saw a shot there of John Rebo a moment ago. Uh, he has, has not been in the action at all. He might do something here. That's Downing. Looking for his teammate, and there's Rebo going for the corner. The referee's called them off. The pass was forward. John Rebo, as you'll see from the colour of his uniform, he has not got a, a mark on it. He won't even have to wash it tonight. But Gary Downey making the break, and it was this pass that was floated forward, and off went Rebo, but the whistle had gone. You see the Queensland defenders pulling up. Well, while that happened, uh, Gary Downing was hurt in the, in the tackle, just as he passed the ball, and he's on the ground.
Greg Dowling. 11 metres from halfway. Cricket. Henrik. Switch and play to Beaton. Les Boyd getting up to get back into the fray. <laughs> well, uh, a little bit sorry for Artie there. Yes, I think so. I mean, OK, uh, it wasn't a New South Wales hand that sent the ball loose, but... Uh, well, he, he had copped a bit, hadn't he, in the tackle? And here's Les Boyd, and you'll notice the players move off him, and this is where the, the ball is actually uh, lost. Chris Close. Lewis. Miles made a good tackle. Back to Murray. 5 8 with a little run. Getting it back and good backing up indeed. And Miles close to the line, still getting it back. That's Murray again. Good understanding between those two. Now back to Prickett, one tackle to go. Out wide is Lewis. And Steve Mortimer penalised for being offside. A quick tap kick taken by Queensland. Into attack again, Prickett. That was very good, quick thinking. Not far out. Dowling. Still getting it back, Lewis. Prickett, Beatson. Throwing it wide out to the winger. Davidson not able to pick it up cleanly. And a knock on. <laughs> Scrums now at 10-4. And in the second half, they're 7-1. I think they're right this time. No, again a New South Wales ball. That should have been a Queensland ball there. Back to Laurie. To Anderson. Mortimer. Ailis pass is to Laurie. Rogers. Laurie. And Hilditch. Rebo's gone in field looking for the ball now. McCabe. Now that's tackle number five that's gone. Sigsworth. And bouncing once and that's all it'll need. It's a good kick from Sigsworth because uh, he didn't have a, a gap to aim through. He virtually had to kick over the top. Therefore, was in danger of kicking it out on the full, but he did judge it well. And the tactics also with New South Wales winning that ball from the scrum. Yet again, getting a bit monotonous, the scrum count. Steve Mortimer's getting plenty of practice. There's Dowling. And, uh, they were ready for him that time. Yeah, the, the old expression was being sold a dump. I don't really blame Rogers for that, but uh, the defence was just waiting for him. Now Laurie out to Rebo. Oh, he nearly intercepted by Davidson. Ten metres inside Queensland's half. Sigsworth, Mortimer, trail through by Price. Masterman, Aleph. So about 33 metres out in centre field, Hilditch. Running it up the centre all the time. Anderson, Mortimer, Laurie. Inside to Price. Made a beautiful gap, and that's Aylip, Royce Aylip, and a lovely tackle by Scott. Good tackle. One to go. Anderson throwing it to the blind side wing. Sigsworth. New South Wales dictating the terms, and uh, it's very noticeable that they're turning that ball back inside after one, two, after about the third pass. And that's where the, the gap was created in the, uh, the Queensland defence. But Another New South Wales ball, and Queensland again have got to get back and, and keep tackling. Back to Price now. 
That's Rebo. And finally, he's touched the ball. And the crowd are cheering. He hasn't seen a great deal of the ball tonight. It just hasn't, the play hasn't gone to the left uh, wing. Mortimer. Now here's Dowling. Dowling's gone straight through. And the second row took him down. Cricket was there too. Mortimer. Laurie. Rogers infield. It went across the other way. That's Sigsworth. Good break by Boyd getting it inside Mortimer and there's Price right under the post. Price to play it. Last one. Mortimer. Ailiff. Spending off the defenders but uh, he'll be called on uh, for the sixth tackle for a scrum. Queensland are desperate for this ball. It's their scrum feed. And I think they've won their second scrum for this half. They won the strike. Whether it'll come out their way. Yes, it does. And that's a penalty against uh, New South Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Henry gets something in his mind there for Stevie Mortimer. Beaton. It's Ron Hilditch going low, number 11, Les Boyd up over the top. Henrik, Phelan. Good tackle by Ray Price. Got about six minutes to go in the game, 22 to 9 the score. Fullback Scott. Cricket, Henrik. Queensland have to try to do something to get into uh, New South Wales half. Yeah. So John Rebo takes the ball gladly, put the ground, not for long. Well, he's getting some now. He hasn't been in the game long, but when he did come into it. Yeah. That's something we're going to have play go on. Okay, the Lewis and well. Gary Dowling. Hilditch. He's been very honest tonight, Ron Hilditch taking the ball up. There's been some uh, good performances in the in both sides, but uh, for the New South Wales side, Gary Dowling must uh, must be very happy with his performance tonight, scoring his two tries and involving himself in uh, in many good runs. And uh, I think he could well be happy with his with his game. McCabe also, the man with the ball now, is uh, has been playing very wide as he does with his Eastern Suburbs club. But uh, he's played also tight, and his defensive work has been quite sound too. I think McCabe's had quite a quite a strong game. And Les Boyd, he's played it pretty pretty solid. He's asked no quarter and, and given no quarter, and he's, he's had quite a quite a strong game. Jeff Masterman, well, I think Jeff's just about played his way into the Australian side. I think he'd be one of the few certainties. But uh, speaking of certainty, Steve Rogers, the, the centre, worried them with Cleal in the first half. Queensland had. Uh, had little answer to the to the gaps out wide, but they did close up towards the end of that first half, and uh, but that's that's where the gaps were. But uh, Gowling, McCabe, uh, Dowling and McCabe and the uh, Masterman, I think, have been the pick of them and Boyd. Uh, and for Queensland, well, uh, certainly nobody's tried harder than Ross Hendrick, the halfback. Wally Lewis uh, at lock forward, probably not as effective at lock, and he would have been at five eight. And here's a replacement, Les Boyd coming off, and Rod Morris going on. Bill Sigsworth receiving attention. Uh, penalty awarded downfield to Queensland. They've found touch, and that's a former Queenslander, Rod Morris, coming on for New South Wales as the replacement player for Boyd. It's Brian Niebling now. 20 metres out. Queensland looking for their second try. We've got about four minutes to go. Henrik, Murray. Henrik running around looking for close out wide and there he is and a lovely tackle out wide. Henrik left the ball behind. Queensland have still got it. 
24 metres out. Lewis. It's Phelan. A crunching tackle from Hilditch. Dowling. Henrik. Little kick through, being chased through by Miles. Gary Downing across there. Going straight between the defenders. Caught by Henrik, getting away from him, and it's Prickett's tackle. Yes, another good uh, run there by by Gary Dowling. But I think for Queensland, they've, they've had problems getting possession in the second half. In the first half, they had to do a tremendous amount of tackling. They did make errors. Uh, they won the scrums in the first half, but surrendered possession back to New South Wales, and New South Wales capitalised on it. And uh, the forwards having to work overtime in that first half. And in the second half, of course, they found it hard to get the ball from scrums. And uh, New South Wales, uh, with this possession, has just been able to take charge and control of the game and uh, do what they want to do and attack. The gaps have been up the centre, and that's where they've been playing it. And Stevie Mortimer, I feel, has had a, a good game tonight too. He's been active, dummy half, and he's been in the thick of the action. But he's, uh, his kicking has left a little bit to be desired for the second or third time he's just surrendered possession. Scott. Well, we've got Steve Rogers actually on the ground behind place suffering uh, from an injury. Phil Sigsworth's been down. Les Boyd's been replaced because of injury. So I think uh, the players from both teams, Les Boyd, uh, who uh, has been worried by a shoulder uh, problem this year, has been replaced. But I think both sides will be happy when the full-time siren goes. 22 to 9. Just on 90 seconds remaining in the game and 12 metres from halfway. Beaton. Chris Phelan was out with the backs for that pass. One to go. Cricket. Oops. That's one way to get good sound effects. So into the last minute now with Queensland winning the scrum in their own half. That's Miles trading it out to his wing on the far side. And a good break indeed. Brad Backer, if he got away from there, he was going to be very hard to catch. But that's about 15 metres inside New South Wales half. Queensland looking for their last try in the last minute of the match. Scott floating the pass in field. have been knocked uh, backwards by New South Wales. Steve Rogers to Mortimer. Price. And that's Rod Morris getting his first touch. Masterman. He's given a non-stop performance too. <laughs> Going to play to Anderson. Mortimer. Laurie. To Gary Downing on the blind side. And that will almost be full time. 22 to 9. New South Wales making it uh, two in a row, winning the return match at Leichhardt Oval by 22 points to nine after leading 7-4 at half-time. And for New South Wales, two tries to Gary Dowling, two to Paul McCabe. Steve Rogers kicked five goals from seven attempts. For Queensland, the try scorer was Meninga. He kicked three goals from four attempts. New South Wales won the scrums by 13 to five, and the penalties favoured Queensland by 14 to 11. So New South Wales winning the first match in Brisbane by 10 points to 2. They've won the return encounter at Leichhardt Oval by 22 points to 9.